Welcome back to my channel everyone, here for another Farming Simulator 22 video. This one's a bit different to what I've normally been doing, um, thought I'd try something a little bit different here, mix it up, so today I'm doing a test video, and this test video is to determine whether it's better to harvest with this in-game standard John Deere 13.7 meter header, or this modded one right here which is at the 13.7 meters as well but you can add the air bar option on it and the air bars in real life actually improve your yield by um, blowing air through that pipe down through these little bars and back into the header so your grain actually gets pushed up into your header more so there's less grain left on the ground behind your harvested crop so that's what they're designed to do so we're here to see if it actually works because I know in FS19 when we got these guys here they actually did increase your yield a slightly um, which was cool to see and I used them in FS19 a bit so I'm here now to see if they do the same in FS22 and for my test I'm on Elm Creek map here um, I'm up near the shop just there field 56 so I'll bring that up for you guys so I'm over here field 56 here the shops just there as you can see here I've done my field just with wheat um, so it is crop type wheat, its growth is ready to harvest, we have a 98% yield bonus and it is 100% fertilised. Um, I have saved the game right here like this, so I'll run this header first, we'll see what yield we get and then I'll jump out, I'll reload the save and I'll put the air bar header on and then we'll go again and we'll see if there's any difference in the yield. Um, so yeah, bear with me guys while I do that. We'll do this first run here, guys. And we'll just set that down to its lowest setting. Oh, we'll turn it on. We'll drive this through this field right here and see what yield we get at the end of the run. And then like I said, I'll jump out, I'll reload the save, I'll jump back in and we'll try the air bar header and see if it makes any significant difference to the yield that we get at the end of the run in our harvester. Alright, so at the end of that run, we got 3,174 litres of product in our harvester. So if you bear with me guys, I'll just jump out, reload the save, I'll jump back in. And uh, yeah, we'll try the air bar header and we'll go from there. Cheers guys. Alright, so we're back now, new save games all being reset. So what I'll do is I'll just move this base game header out of the way and we'll pick up the air bar header we'll get harvesting guys and we'll see if our yield increases um, I'm hoping it does um, but we won't know till we get the results so we'll jump right in and see what results we can come up with we'll try and get it in a very similar spot to where I had it and again I'll do the same here we'll lower this bar down as far as it'll go turn it on 
Like I said, field's still the same, 98%, 100% yield bonus. Wheat ready to harvest. Got everything ready to go, so we'll harvest this line of wheat, guys, and we'll see what yield we end up with in our harvester. I'm hoping it will give us a bigger yield. Um, if not, then yeah, it is what it is, and the bar will be just aesthetic. Um, before I get to the end, guys, if you want, drop it down in the comments below whether we'll get more or less yield. Um, yeah, I'd love to see your opinion. So I might just pause here for a little bit, guys. Give you a few few minutes or so just to leave your comment if you want, if you wish, and then I'll get on harvesting. Or if you want, pause the video now, leave your comment, jump back in, unpause the video and see what yield we have. Anyway, I'll finish this harvesting line and we'll go from there. And going by that, I think we have a significant difference, guys. We've got 3,239 litres. I'll have to check back with the other video. I can't quite remember, but it was 3,100 and something litres we had in the other one. Um, I'll leave it at the end of the video of the yield difference, but still says 19% like the last harvest as well, but there is actually more grain inside the harvester. So that to me, guys, says that this test was successful and it is worth buying and running the air bar on your harvester header guys it does give you a little bit extra bonus um, i'll jump out put out the the math work it out and i'll drop it in right at the end of this video but that is unreal um, yeah hope this video was informative for you and you like it guys um, remember have an awesome and great day evening and good night i'll catch you in the next video and thanks for watching